friend. Oh, new friend. Friend. Please be my friend. Oh, new friend. Hello and welcome once again to Cheap Shot Entertainment. Once again, I am your host, Luke, and you are the Cheap Shot Nation. And this is everything that happened on NXT during the shows of the 19th show and the 20th show, which were released on the network on the 26th Boxing Day uh, 2018, uh, 26th of the 12th. Um, so this is all the action that went down leading to NXT TakeOver UK Blackpool and we hope you enjoy the show. If you do, show us some love by clicking the like button and doing all this stuff, subscribing and all that kind of stuff as well. You can also follow us on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. And without further ado, let's get on to everything that happened during that show. <coughs> So at the beginning of the show, a massive announcement was made. I've made reference to this uh, uh, on earlier episodes of everything that happened in NXT UK. Um, the announcement is NXT UK TakeOver Blackpool. Um, this is not a new thing. Obviously the tickets were released and then this show was released. Don't know what WWE was planning with all of this sort of backlog of stuff, but we're we're in just catching up. So if you're watching this, thank you very much. Um, and Tony Storm then comes out to um, ask uh, Johnny Saint and his assistant for the opportunity to uh, take on Rhea Ripley at NXT UK Takeover Blackpool on the twelfth of January. Um, incidentally it's <clears throat> noted that because Tony Storm won the second annual May Young Classic she does get an opportunity to challenge for any title and she chose the NXT UK title. The match is made there and then Rhea Ripley then comes out to confront Tony Storm and that's how that segment ends. We go into the first match of the show, the 19th episode of NXT UK, absolutely crazy that it's 19 episodes in already, uh, featuring Kenny Williams who's been in tag team matches with Amir Jordan in recent weeks. Kenny Williams going against Jordan Devlin who we haven't seen for a couple of weeks as well. Uh, Jordan Devlin continuing his smash and grab style of wrestling throughout NXT UK continuing his winning ways with a win over Kenny Williams here. Uh, Kenny Williams, as you'd expect, gets a little bit of offense in here, but ultimately it is the slow and methodical style of Jordan Devlin that wins the match eventually, uh, hitting the island's call, which is a fireman's sort of buster type thing, fireman's, um, Mishinoku driver type move, that's how I could describe it, uh, for the win. Kenny Williams can't kick out, Jordan Devlin is your winner, further cementing his claim to the NXT UK Championship. Going into, again, going into the future, going into NXT UK Blackpool. It is then announced that we get a, a first showing from Diana Perozo. Uh, Perazzo against Rhea Ripley, who's been given she's been given a title match for her first match, putting on a good show in the May Young Classic, of course. Uh, Perazzo and uh, gets the first match, uh, gets her first match against the UK Women's Champion in Rhea Ripley, and that's going to take place on the next episode of NXT UK, which is episode twenty. Move on then to the next match. It is Dan Maloney versus Eddie Dennis. Eddie Dennis coming off uh, his first loss against Dave Mastiff. Rivalry brewing there between those two. Uh, Maloney is um, gets a great start against Eddie Dennis. Knows that Dennis is uh, quite vicious in his attacks. So he goes in with the early uh, offense. Uh, Dennis... Uh, 
gets knocked off his feet, in fact, by Dan Maloney in this match. Uh, Dennis does eventually get control, um, and there is a slam on the apron from Eddie Dennis to Dan Maloney. The bomber, Dave Mastiff, then comes down to interrupt uh, Eddie Dennis, and then he gets, uh, well, gets uh, Dan Maloney disqualified, in fact. So Eddie Dennis picks up the victory courtesy of uh, Dave Mastiff after weeks and weeks of attacks from Eddie Dennis. Uh, obviously, Eddie Dennis is very happy about this. Uh, Dan Maloney is not so happy about this. After confronting Dave Mastiff, gets squashed in the corner, get that spatula out, scrape Dan Maloney off the canvas because he has just been squashed by Dave Mastiff. Going further on into the NXT UK Tag Team Championship Tournament, Gallus versus Mustache Mountain has been announced for next, or in I think two weeks time on NXT UK and the winner of that will, winner of that match will go on to the uh, finals in NXT TakeOver Blackpool. Um, it was all about the tag teams showing that they could uh, hang with each other and being picked and showing what they could do. Um, so we go on to another tag team match now. Uh, it is uh, Jack Stars and Tucker. Uh, we've seen Jack Stars before uh, getting squashed by, um, I think it was Dave Mastiff, I believe. Um, yeah, I think it was. Uh, and uh, Tucker we've seen before in NXT UK. Uh, again, with Saxon Huxley and Tyson Tebow, a relatively new tag team in the NXT UK tag division. Uh, T-Bone shows his strength in this one, throwing around Jack Stars and uh, Tucker. Um, Huxley comes in, uh, there's no chance then for Stars and Tucker. Uh, again, try to get a little bit of offense. T-Bone manages to get back in the match, throws a straight right hand, showing his boxing background, and that is on stars. Saxon Huxley then gets the pin for the win, and your winners in this match, very short match, uh, but quite again, quite good. There's no bad matches in NXT UK, just short matches. Um, a necessary evil, as I uh, alluded to in the May Young Classic, um, to get all this action into a show that's being televised. Um, so Saxon Huxley and Tyson T-Bone pick up another win. So we continue then with uh, the main event which features El Ligero, or Ligero as he's been dubbed by WWE because we all know that they don't like two names. Although it seems like Joe Coffey and Mark Coffey get away with it because they can't both be called Coffey. Um, just an observation. Anyway, uh, it's Leguero versus Joe Coffey. Uh, Leguero puts on a really good show in this match against the much larger Joe Coffey. Uh, Leguero does hold his own. Mark, uh, sorry, Joe Coffey shows all of his power. Leguero showing that he's a high flyer. Uh, does it eventually succumb to a power bomb, and that's turned into a Boston Crab onto Leguero, um, which is by the ropes and is broken. Uh, Joe Coffey then hits the bells, uh, which is a spinning lariat, right under Leguero's chin. Leguero cannot kick out of this, and Joe Coffey gets another clean win. More momentum going into NXT UK TakeOver Blackpool. Uh, cementing further his claim to be the UK champion and the fact that it's his kingdom and his championship. So we go on to the second part of this episode now, filmed on the same day, released on the 26th of December 2018. Uh, it's NXT episode 
20 NXT episode, UK episode 20 and we start straight away with some action. It features Drake and Gibson, the grizzled young veterans, going against the new team of Wild Boar and Primates. Good to see Primates on NXT UK. Um, I've only seen him a couple of times on, uh, on previous uh, shows that I've been to and I was always quite impressed with him. Um, straight out brawler, badass, wears a really cool mask um, and just uh, has that animalistic tendency. So uh, putting Wild Ball, Mike Hitchman and Primate together was a stroke of absolute genius by whoever's making those matches in NXT UK. Thank you Triple H. Um, and uh, these two guys showing that they can work really well together, dominating uh, James Drake and Zach Gibson in the early going uh, but there is a blind tag from Zach Gibson they tend to send Drake in first he gets beaten down as soon as Zach Gibson comes in the momentum changes in most of their matches that they have together um, so Zach Gibson opens the rope sending Primate to the outside at which point Drake and Gibson hit the double team to the outside and they are in complete control in this one uh, Ball manages, Wild Ball managed to get the hot tag goes for a cannonball, Zach Gibson pulls James Drake out of the way Wild Ball then crashes and burns into the corner this is where the assisted ticket to ride is hit by Zach Gibson who is the legal man at this point having had another blind tag and that gets them the win. More momentum for James Drake and Zach Gibson the grizzled young veterans. The next match is a bit of a throwaway match. It is Dave Mastiff versus Joe Morrell. Uh, Dave Mastiff makes his way down to the ring. Joe Morrell uh, another uh, newcomer to NXT UK tries to make his entrance, gets attacked by Eddie Dennis and the match never starts. Um, of course this is retaliation from the from last week where Dave Mastiff did interrupt uh, the match attacking uh, Eddie Dennis um, and uh, giving him the win uh, in disqualification over Dan Maloney. Um, although Joe Morrell never got into the ring, so the match was thrown out completely. But uh, yeah, this, this rivalry is heating up uh, going into NXT UK Blackpool. We'll go straight on to the next match, which features Mark Andrews and the debut of Marcel Bartel the German wrestler who has always, always also been on NXT showing what he can do. Uh, early on Bartel is in complete control of Mark Andrews. Everything that Mark Andrews tries Bartel has an answer for. And he reminds me a lot of the NXT general manager William Regal in the way he carries himself and you can see some of the um, influences from um, William Regal uh, in Martel Bartel's um, offence and it does eventually lead to the win. Eichner does come out and distract Mark, Mark Andrews, Flash Morgan Webster comes out to try and help his, part, his tag team partner. Um, this leads to a bit of a, uh, a partnership um, between Eichner and Bartel. Um, Andrews uh, misses a shooting star to finish the match. Eichner attacks Andrews. Bartel hits a release suplex for the win um, with Eichner uh, causing the distraction there. And uh, like I say, Eichner getting the win on this one. Um, sorry, Bartel getting the win on this one in his first match. Uh, really good match, really impressed with Bartel. And um, yeah, really impressed with both Eichner and Bartel and can't wait to see what they can do in the ring as a pairing if they decide to tag together. So we move on to the main event of this episode. It features Diana Perrazzo 
and Rhea Ripley again another main event featuring the women on uh, NXT UK TV taping uh, Perazzo gets the upper hand early on in the match most of the ladies that go against the current UK women's champion try to get the early jump on her uh, Rhea Ripley usually ends up coming back and retaining the championship this is her second um, second championship defence on NXT UK. Um, Ripley um, dominates quite a lot of the match with her power. Perazzo puts in a really good show um, but Rhea Ripley showing what she can do with body scissors, grounding Perazzo, knowing that she goes for the uh, Fujiwara armbar, that is her finish manages to keep her from focusing on her arms. There's a suplex attempt and this is blocked. Uh, German is hit by Perazzo, uh, a German suplex that is, to just randomly go up and hit a German person. Um, and um, there's a corner attack which is then missed by Perazzo and then there's some clubbing blows from Rhea Ripley to set up for the Riptide and the win. She retains the championship in her second defence. Uh, looking very, very good, Rhea Ripley and uh, Perazzo put on a good show as well. Great way to end this show on NXT UK. And that is everything that happened on the 26th of December 2018 during the released shows on the WWE Network for NXT UK. Once again, if you like the videos, we're trying to get you up to speed with everything that's happened on NXT UK before NXT UK TakeOver Blackpool. If you like the videos, hit the subscribe button, drop kick that notification bell to know when we upload new content to the channel. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. Drop us a like and leave us a comment down below. Once again, you have been the Cheap Shot Nation. I have been your host, Luke. And we'll see you next time. Goodbye.